so you're playing New World and your FPS just isn't what it should be. Or maybe you're experiencing a little lag. But watch this video and see if we can't take care of that. Hey friends, Axial GT here. And I'm assuming the reason why you're here is because your New World experience just isn't up to snuff. Now I've been doing some testing from my gaming laptop to my mid and higher end systems and all have seen a boost in FPS from these fixes I've implemented. But before we get into that, like this video, share this video, and subscribe for future Axial GT content. And hit the bell to be notified when I upload. It's kind of like a YouTube cheat code and keeps them from killing off smaller channels. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, first things first, let's go over a few things that we can do inside Windows that will help all your games, not just New World. Now I know most of you probably already know this, but I can't stress this enough. Drivers, drivers, drivers. Make sure your drivers are up to date. AMD and NVIDIA both have released updated drivers that are New World specific, so make sure you have the newest. Also, Windows Update. Yes, we all hate Windows updating every time we turn around, but make sure you have the latest Windows fully updated. Some updates have come with performance games when it comes to gaming, especially the Summer 2021 update. It's easy and relatively painless. Type in Updates, click the Windows Update, and the Check for Updates button. If it comes back updates available, download and install. Now these next settings are also Windows specific and will help with all your games running better. And I have meant to do an updated Decrapify Windows video, so tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see that in the future. But anyway, now let's go to the search bar settings again and type in Game Mode Settings. Make sure your game mode is switched to on. Now go over to your Xbox Game Bar. Now if you don't use this feature, shut it off. It'll save you in CPU cycles. Close that out, then go back to your search bar and type in GPU settings and click graphics settings. Now this setting is hardware and Windows version specific, so you may or may not see this, but if you see GPU hardware acceleration scheduling, turn it on. While we are here, we'll look at the graphics performance section. Select browse, find your new world game folder. It's wherever you have your Steam games. Inside that folder, select bin64 and select new world exe and select add. Scroll down to what we just added, go to your options and choose high performance. Now usually you see people going to the power plan settings and I will show that too. But they switch their power plan to high performance. This is where I'll say you have to do this at your own risk. Now I believe there is a coding issue inside New World, specifically the Lumberyard engine. And I believe these coding issues actually bring out flaws in the designs of the newest and latest Ampere GPUs. It's really not AGS and New World's fault, but it does highlight these issues with the newer GPUs if that makes any sense. But anyway, some graphics cards to pull more power than what they're originally designed to do. Now this is only usually for the newer graphics cards that have come out lately. But I've also seen it in older cards like my 1080 Ti that I have. When its power limit is set to 100% and it pulls up to 110 to 115%. It's rare, but it does happen. And it might be why some graphics cards are popping and New World is getting blamed for breaking cards. Now I run mine at high performance and haven't had an issue, but be forewarned, it may be a problem. So anyway, this is as easy as going to your search bar, typing in power plan. Once it pops up, go to your advanced or more options and select either balance or high performance. You may have other options here, but those are the two I really pay attention to. Now I won't go into the optimum high performance settings because I have found it really doesn't provide any real benefit. Now that we have Windows running pretty well, yeah, Windows suck. I miss the days of Windows 7, but here we are at Windows 10, Windows 11 around the corner. Just more operating systems we're going to have to decrapify. But anyway, I digress. But another detriment to online games is lag. Now New World does have some options in game and I'll show those later on in the video, but there's a few things you can do inside Windows to help your lag. And I'm talking about metered connections. This is an often overlooked little gem of a fix. So let's go through that. So go to your search bar and type in network, then go to network settings. Then you'll see this screen. Then you'll click on manage known networks and whatever network connection you are using, click on that one and turn on metered connection. Even if your connection is not metered, this will stop things like Windows Update from updating in the background. Think of it as data saver mode on an Android phone. Only the apps you have open are actually allowed to use the connection. That way when you're playing New World or any other game, while the game is open, it can use the internet connection and all the bandwidth while stopping everything else dead in its tracks. Okay. I know what you're going to say. Hey Axio, you're only showing Wi-Fi connections. What about Ethernet? Okay, if you're running a wired connection, you can change it the same way. Just go to Ethernet, manage your network, and change it 
to a metered connection. Now, if you do not see the metered connection option under Ethernet, that means a registry edit is required and it's going to be beyond the scope of this video. But let me know in the comments below if you'd like a standalone video on how to change your registry for this option to show up. I would be happy to do it. But next, we have in-game settings to boost your FPS. So let's tackle that next. First, we need to open up our Steam. Go to the top left-hand corner, click Steam, and go to Settings. Then go down to Library and enable these two options. They make Steam a little bit more lightweight by reducing a few CPU cycles and hogging into your bandwidth. Then we'll launch New World and jump in-game. Once in-game, hit Escape, and go to your settings tab. As you can see, I'm running full screen at 1440p with everything on high. But if you want more FPS, here's a few settings you can change, especially if you're running on lower end hardware. Okay, first make sure you're in full screen. Then set the resolution to the native resolution of your monitor. Mine's 1440p. Now after you do these settings and it's still not enough FPS, you can go ahead and drop your resolution down one, like 1440 to 1080p. I found dropping down any more than one though, really makes it look like shit. Your brightness, contrast, and field of view is just more or less a personal preference. Now to get your maximum FPS, video quality, just set it to low and everything else will go to low. And that will be your maximum FPS. Now we'll say surprisingly at 1440p and 1080p, low still looks exceptionally good. But if you want to have a balance of settings to make it look just that much better, this is what we should do. Go back into your settings and set everything back to high. Then set your effects detail to medium. You can go ahead and leave your lighting detail on high because it really doesn't affect your FPS that much, if at all. And set your object details to medium also. Post processing details to medium. Then change one of the number one killers of FPS, shadow detail, to low. Set your terrain details to medium and also your texture details. Now when it comes to water, I set it to low and it still looks extremely well. Now, show your FPS off or on is more of a personal preference, but we'll say it does give you some really insightful information. Now, VSync I would turn off because we're actually after FPS here. Now, your max FPS, I would run it uncapped, unless you are like me and sometimes do play on a laptop that does have heating issues. In that situation, I do cap it. Now, the player nameplate amount is kind of a mixed bag. Some people says it helps your FPS by lowering it, but I haven't seen any discernible difference. Now I do leave on cap FPS in the background. That way when you like alt tab out of your game, your game isn't trying to run full speed. I also leave dynamic resolution scaling on just to give you that little bit of FPS boost. Now if you go up to your gameplay tab, I make sure enable camera shake is off because it's just annoying. Now a few bonus tips to help out maybe network lag is bandwidth mode. Under the preferences tab, you can set this to low and you can turn off enable analytics reporting. Both of these will cut down on the amount of packets that are sent and received from your PC. Now this video is not going to cover all the numerous bugs that are within New World. This is just to get the Lumberyard engine up and running pretty smoothly or as smoothly as it can. Well there you have it. If you make these changes you'll see a dramatic boost in FPS. Not only in New World but with the Windows changes you should see an increase in FPS in all your games. With New World, with my testing, I've seen increases up to 30% in FPS with no lag. So that's a win in my book. But I hope you found this video informative and found a few tidbits of information you found useful. But if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future Axial GT content. With that, my friends, I am out of here. You all have a good one.